Artists, today you need to take your paper plate and use the loom template to get your notches started for your loom. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you want to turn your plate over so that way you don't get any of the sharpie marks on your painted design up front. So turn your plate over and you're going to take this loom template and flip it over right on top of your plate and you kind of have to hold it down steady with one hand. And there are going to be 19 notches. So if I start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. If you do not have 19 notches, your loom and your weaving will not work correctly. So you have to make sure that for each of those 19 notches, you're just going to give yourself one little mark on your paper plate. And you want to make sure that your paper plate doesn't move on you. So I'm just holding it with one hand so that it doesn't move and I'm putting a notch at each of those 19 spaces. When you remove the plate, double check to make sure that you have 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. These are our notches for our loom. When you cut your notches, you don't want to go past that first lip. So aim for your best to stay exactly on those marks that you made and don't cut past that very first lip. So you're going to have 19 notches in your loom for your weaving. So I'm going to pause and catch up. When you're cutting, if you notice that just using the nose of the scissors doesn't quite get you a good enough cut, you can open up and go a little bit further with the body of the scissors. But just make sure that you don't cut past that first lip on your plate. Once you have all 19 notches cut, your loom is now ready. Um, if you didn't have a chance to finish painting last week, you can finish that now. If you still need to add your details with paint, you can do that now. Just make sure that you first trace your template and cut your notches, then finish painting. And that's as far as we're going to go.